English Unleashed, Formal versus Informal Language, in Relative Clauses. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our series, English Unleashed. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of relative clauses. The distinction between formal and informal language, specifically when it comes to the omission of relative pronouns. So, buckle up and get ready for this enlightening journey. Before we get into formal and informal language, let's quickly review what relative clauses are. These are types of clauses that give additional information about something without starting another sentence. By using relative clauses, the sentence becomes more fluid and easier to understand. A relative pronoun, who, which, that, etc., introduces a relative clause and refers to a noun mentioned earlier, called the antecedent. For example, in the sentence, the book, which is on the table, is mine, which, is the relative pronoun, and, book, is the antecedent. We often omit relative pronouns in informal speech or writing. This is called pronoun omission or pronoun dropping. It generally makes sentences sound less formal and more conversational. For example, the sentence, the book, that, I'm reading is fascinating. The word, that, is optional and can be dropped in informal contexts. Now, on to our main topic, the difference between formal and informal language when omitting relative pronouns in relative clauses. In formal language, we typically do not omit the relative pronoun. This is because formal language often prioritizes clarity and precision. Keeping the relative pronoun ensures that there's no ambiguity about what the clause is referring to. For example, we'd say, the man who stole the car was arrested, instead of, the man stole the car was arrested. In informal language, however, it's common to omit the relative pronoun, especially when it's the object of the verb. This makes the sentence sound more natural and conversational. For example, instead of saying, the apples that you bought are delicious, in informal language, we'd more likely say, the apples you bought are delicious. Remember, like many things in English, there are exceptions. We cannot always omit the relative pronoun, even in informal language. One main rule is that we cannot omit the relative pronoun when it is the subject of the clause. For example, in the sentence, the woman who lives here is my aunt, the relative pronoun, who, is the subject of the clause, who lives here, and therefore cannot be omitted. And there we have it, the intriguing world of formal and informal language within the realm of relative clauses and relative pronouns. Remember, formal language usually includes relative pronouns for clarity, while informal language often omits them for a more conversational tone, but always be mindful of exceptions. We hope this video has been helpful and illuminating. Stay tuned for more videos where we continue to unleash the power of English.